Hey guys, it is April from Getting Hooker With It. Today I am here to talk to you about what I read in November. So let's get into it. Okay, so very rare for me. I did not read a lot in November. Like I read three books. I don't want to say I'm going through a reading slump because I'm enjoying everything that I'm reading and that's not really it. It's just that life, life is busy, life is crazy right now and so that's that. But I do want to share with you what I read because I really enjoyed what I read. The first book that I read was The Thirteenth Tale and I read this with Lindsay over at The Wandering Reader. We did a little buddy read of this and oh my gosh. This was such a wild ride. In this book you are following our main character who um, is hired on by this very very well-known female author. She's written I want to say hundreds of books but she's maybe not quite that many but she's written a lot of books and while she's this like beloved author people don't know anything about her. She's had many, many interviews and she always seems to create a new life for herself. With each interview that she does, she creates this different story about her life. Um, so no one knows who she really is. Now she is very, very ill and our main character who owns this little book shop with her father, she goes and starts to write this woman's life and oh my gosh it's just the most wild ride it's full of mystery if you like an old house with lots of secrets and the families are very complex <laughs> um you will probably like this book it does feel like kate morton except it feels a lot more gritty than Kate Morton and a little bit more depressing than Kate Morton. I really enjoyed it um, and I think I gave this one four stars. I really liked it. The next book that I read is Sworn to Silence. This is the Kate Burkholder series that I've heard so much about from Julie at A Girl in a Book and then from Rachel at The Shades of Orange. They have loved this series and I started book one, I actually listened to it on audio and I'm so glad that I did. I was blown away. It was such a fun, just little detective series that I know I'm going to enjoy the whole series. I'm so excited. So this follows Kate Burkholder and she lives in a very, very small town and she is the town's main detective. Um, she's the girl boss of the this little police force and there is a series of brutal brutal murders going on and they all revolve around girls now I have to say the murder and the descriptions of the murders themselves reminded me so much of Karen Slaughter's pretty girls I was really happy because I mean, Pretty Girls is very gritty and it's not for the faint of heart. It's really disturbing and brutal. And this felt really disturbing and brutal, but not quite that far. It was just brutal enough. I really loved it. And what I really enjoyed about this um, book was that Kate Burkholder, our main police detective, she has such an interesting history herself. Um, and you're drawn into her story and I just I loved it I loved it I loved it I loved it I'm totally gonna be reading the rest of the series and if you want to get into the series check out the audiobook because it's amazing that um, narrator is like spot on she's just great I'm actually gonna look her up and see what other books she's narrated other than the Kate Burkholder series because I would love to read anything that she narrates and finally in November I read Little Women which was just yes I'm so glad that I read this I had never read it before which I realize is just 
terrible, but I loved every second of it. I used to watch the movie, well, all the time. It wasn't just like a Christmas movie for me. It was an all the time movie, specifically right before I was gonna get my period and I was going through PMS and I just needed to bawl my eyes out. I would watch Little Women and it reminded me so much of my little family and I just loved it. So I'm so glad that I read the book. The book feels very similar to the movie, um, although it, there are major bits that aren't involved in the book and I don't wanna give anything away, but um, there are major plot points that don't happen in the book. The book is much more um, about their childhood. I don't wanna get too much more into it, but I, adored it. I definitely want to read Little Men now. I think that's the second in this series, right? Is it just a duology? I can't remember. Have you guys read Little Women? Um, I always find it interesting how many books I haven't read that were like classic childhood books. So I'll really have to start picking that them up. Like Peter Pan, I never read. Alice in Wonderland, although I've heard that that's really weird and out there. Um, Little Women and Green Gables. I have so many to read. Um, yeah, am I alone in not having read tons of classic children's lit? Because I feel a little bit alone. Anyway, let me know um, that and also let me know what was the favorite book that you read in November. I would love to know and I'll see you later. Bye!